We are live. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to RVing in New England. I won't tell you what my day was like, but it really was terrible. But anyhow, live. Wait it's, show, it's show time. <laughs> so, this is what we were going to say. What? Thank you for joining us today here. We're live in Tampa at the Tampa RV Super Show. But this, whatever you want to call it, had to mess it all up. And um, you're in Massachusetts. I'm in Massachusetts. Instead of it being 50 degrees in Florida, it's 40 here. Isn't that amazing, though? It's only a four, only a 10 degree difference today. We, we didn't miss anything, that's for sure. For sure. Speaking about Tampa, let me just show some stuff that we actually got a couple of emails from our friends Coley and Ryan Brady and Bill Martin at Alliance RV, and and this is their. I can probably blow that up for you, but this is their. Alliance team at the Tampa Super Show today. They were all set to go, and they are all set to go. And interesting enough, for those who follow Alliance, they are introducing their Valor, which is their toy hauler, and it's gotten a lot of, a lot of good press before the show. So we wish them well, at the, and all the people at the Tampa Super Show. We hope they fill that place up safely. So oh, wait, a minute. wait a minute. Walter Burns is at Tampa. Yeah, Walter isn't. No, Walter is. Yeah. He's there. Okay. Uh, what what is chilly? You know, it's chilly in Boston, Walter. What is what is chilly in in Tampa? What and, and how how about that decent show traffic today? Tell us about that. Hold on. Time out. What? We have a sponsor. We need have an obligation. We have a fiduciary obligation to tell people that. Tonight's show is brought to you by Lee's Family Trailer Sales in Windham, Maine, just outside of Portland, Maine, one of America's fastest growing and friendliest RV dealerships. Lee's Family Trailer Sales and Service and Dan right. Crack says hello it, to everybody. Here's a quiz for you, DePetro. Okay. Who did I have a cup of coffee with at Lee's Trailer Sales on Tuesday this week? Yesterday, yesterday, today's Wednesday. Of yep. the people, of the people that are on the screen right now, look over on the right. Dante, Dante, I oh, met you in him. person. Which, by yeah. the way, by the way, any of you folks that would like to meet us in person, we buy the coffee. We'll be glad to talk to you about uh, RVs and camping. So Dante has started a new tradition. He came over. He only lives right down the street from Lee's. And Lee yeah. is sponsoring us for the next six months, which we thoroughly appreciate. Uh, great dealership, Dan Craffy and his team. So, yes, uh, please uh, frequent Lee's. Go down there. And if you want, just let me know if you because I'm up there all summer. You want to meet me for a cup of coffee and be glad to sign autographs and my books and uh, even even pictures. John and I have new headshots taken, so now we can sign 8 by 10 glossies. What the hell do you want to be drunk? But we even have two people. We have two legendary people here. Rick Kessler joined us at the beginning. He must have a broken clock because he's never on time. And Kevin, tell them a story about Kevin. Ladies you know, before it's, you know, it's, it's been a joke with the show that when our fans show up late, they apologize. Rick Kessler will apologize, and and Kevin Hiroki will apologize. Kessler and doesn't apologize. Just, just before we went on the show, let me let me read you a text. Good evening, Bob. Just a heads up. I'll be joining a little late to the show this evening. My wife and son wanted to grab a quick dinner this evening from Mr. Hiroki. So we now have set a new tradition. If you are going to miss the show or yeah, if you're going to be late. You have to send me a text beforehand. Yep. So Kevin, I didn't want you to. I didn't want you to just rush through dinner. So Jesse dear, uh, my man Kevin. Yes, Eric Teller. I think the Tampa show was well attended for the first day. Um, but how about crowd control and what did they do in terms of uh, people going into a unit, one family at a time? Uh, were the salesmen sitting on the couch and writing up orders? I, I'd be curious as we go through the show. Uh, to have some input, I want to I want to get Mike Perry up here. And yeah. Eric says hello yeah. from Sumter Oaks Campground in Bushnell, Florida. Where the hell is Bushnell, Florida? Made it to the Tampa show today. Lots of cool stuff. So let's, Tampa area. Um, let's, 
you're wondering about. I'm wondering if you are ever going to tell our audience that we have a special guest tonight. I'm wondering if you're going to do that because I have to find them. I wondered if you were going to announce that we have a sponsorship. You I did, did that. We did the sponsorship. No, I just, we didn't do the sponsorship. But I lost I Perry. The sponsorship. If it wasn't for me, that guy's money would go right down the drain. Perry says, oh, there he is. I found you. Man. Yeah. Why not, Mark? All right, Michael Perry from Dealer Resources Group, and you know, Mike, Mike, there may there may be people on here that don't know who the hell you are, so you might want to give a little bit of your background. Not important that, if they don't know. That, that's probably that's probably a good thing sometimes, Bob. Well, that that's probably true. I mean, that's you had to go true. find me in your archives to pull me up. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 probably true, but. But tell, tell them what you do for all our nerve to dealers and all the dealers in the Northeast. Well, a uh, little background on myself. Been in the RV industry 39, uh, yeah, 39 years now. And uh, started when I was 10. Been on the retail end. Yeah, started when you were 10, John. <laughs> been on the retail, retail side. I've been on the OEM side. Been on the distribution side. And now I work for a company out of Tampa, Florida. Just happened to be down there. And uh, what we do is we rep for a bunch of vendors uh, in the RV industry, which are all your top vendors that, um, that are out there. Um, WineGuard, Valterra, Carefree, Adco, BAL, just to name a few of them. Um, I go and I help our dealers uh, with open houses. Um, I help to train their parts people, service people, uh, in other we words, just, like, just keep the flow going. You, you yeah. just don't sell stuff and say you're on your own. Well, you know, it's it's. I mean, I I take orders when I go into dealers. I mean, I walk around the dealerships, you know, see open shelves, missing things, introduce them to new products, like we're going to do tonight. We're going to show you guys some new products that came out, um, and help refill those shelves for the, so they're ready for everybody to go in. Well, the other, thing, the other thing you do, and you do very well, I know you've, we've had some of our dealers use you for seminars similar to what you could do at the Boston Show, but also you, you will set up your booth and talk about these products during dealer open houses or when uh, we had the Girl Camper College up at uh, Lee's Family Trailer last year, you were yep. a big kid out front and you, know, uh, you just sit and educate the people that way. But I noticed you know, Tim Christensen is, is very sharp. Because he just made the same comment that I made before the show. Uh, and, you know, T Tim is a quiet guy, but he carries a big stick. And so, see, he he is is up that you actually <laughs> a little bit and, and probably <laughs> took a shower before the show. You know, Mike's up in a hotel in South Portland, Maine. And when I, I thought somebody else was in the room when he turned the camera on. But, uh, you know, Tim recognized it, too. Right. Hey, Tim, I can cut my sleeves off if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Is the bike outside? Well, no, but I did pass one today on the highway. I, I, I did. I had I had one pull up next to me today on, at a light. And I said, no, OK, that's fine. Frank Cates yeah. says, hey, from Eastern Shores of Massachusetts in Lynn. <laughs> Eric says, yes, they did control entry into units. That's good. Walt, uh, Walt Burns says crowd control was decent. Saw the great folks at Campers Inn. I'd say 90% of the folks had mask on. Thank you, too. Thank us, too, for what? We did, you know, we, this is just, this is our set, uh, Wednesday night relief. Mike, what do you got, uh, what do you want to show the folks tonight? Well, um, we have a lot of things to, to go over. Um, we can do with the, uh, the Valterra, the um, tire monitoring, if you'd like. You know, in, in elementary school, this would be known as show and tell. Pretty much. You show, and I'll tell you what I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think we just have a few uh, slides on the, the, the tire monitoring, but go ahead and talk a, talk a little bit about why they're so important. You know, we see so much about blowouts on tires and stuff, and, you know, a lot of that, you, we, we say this often. You know, we know there's issues. We know there's sometimes there's quality issues or leaks, but, I, I'd argue that 50% of the problems that we have in RVs are, are self-inflicted because they don't train the people the right way or they don't have the, the proper. Right. And I'm not giving, I'm not trying to give you an out, but how can somebody not have a TBMS? 
Well, and that's and that's the thing. I mean, you know, with a tire pressure monitoring system, it monitors not only the tire pressure, but it also monitors the temperature of the tires going down the road. Um, they can detect a small leak that's starting, uh, and it will save customers a ton of money on repairs. Because when you have a tire blowout, it will literally blow that tire out. And especially on travel trailers, I mean, it usually will rip out the whole uh, inside part of where the tires are, yep. uh, separating from the inside of the coach. Yep. And uh, you're talking anywhere from five to eight grand on a repair, just to replace that. And some of these coaches, Mike, uh, aren't some of these coaches, they're, you know, the less expensive ones, they don't in case the propane lines in cable, steel cable, they don't put the electricals in steel cable and you get one of those rear wheels pop it out, you could blow the electricity and uh, you know do some serious uh, fire damage. Yeah, and that's and, and again, like I said, when a tire goes, it rips out everything that's within its path and and yeah, exactly. I mean, brake cables, LP lines, anything that's in that area yep. will rip it right out and now you got to put all new siding you got to get everything to replace in that area because it'll just do total damage to it well, and, you know, it's and tire finder, they make all kinds of different tire monitors uh we make them for they make them for motorcycles really they make yep they make yep they've got a two system for for motorcycles they got them for the trikes well, john, um, would yeah. need, not, john would need one for his uh tricycle his <laughs> bicycle you know, it's a big, my it's electric big bike. Yeah, my electric it's bike. Yo, know, but RV is sometimes don't spend the money they should spend on things. So ballpark, what what does a, a tire system go for? Give us a full full list. One, don't worry about it. Well, I mean, the first one that you had up there, the the trail of TPMS. I mean, that one you can get it for a two tire system or you can get it for a four tire system. So if you go with a four tire system, it's basically $199. That's cheap for the security. Right. Man, it would cost you two a hundred, it cost you two hundred bucks to get the flat tire changed by AAA. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, the I 10, the one that I sent you there in the I 10, I mean, that starts off at $249 for four tires. That's not bad at all. And then if you have a six tire system, it's two ninety nine. If you want a ten tire system, it's four ninety nine. Let, let's so, I mean, ask the members of our audience if any of them have had a blowout while driving down I ninety five or whatever highway it is. But if they've had a blowout, and uh, you know maybe somebody can share the uh, you know the actual story of what's happened to their unit. Yeah, and, and when you have a blowout, Mike, what's what's the chance of it blowing the tire if you've got a dual axle or you've got double wheels on the back? Is there a good chance that it will take the other tire out also? Yeah, you got a real good chance of a dually because, I mean, I I used to drive truck and, and uh, when I was in the service. And, I mean, especially if it's an inside blowout, it, it, a lot of times it'll blow that outside tire right off the rim. Mm. Because it just has – I mean, you got to figure, you know – What's it? What's the tire have for tire pressure? You know, it's well over 100 pounds per square inch, and that's enough to do damage for anything. And I mean, the I-10 itself, I mean, that's uh, plus or minus one psi accuracy from zero to 199 psi. Wow! And you can swap that unit out. Uh, it'll continually monitor 20 tires while allowing uh, allowing it to swap between four different vehicles up to a total of 40 tires. I mean, that's a real good system right there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mike, for, for installation of a unit like that 110 that we see right there, is that something that an average RVer can do or is that something you should uh, go to your dealership or service center nope. to do? Average average person can do it. I mean, it's just a matter of plugging it into the, uh, to your 12 volt you know, system. And uh, your, your if, if you go back, John, I mean, uh, Bob. Yeah. And you'll see that they have the little monitors that are actually like valve caps. And yep. every valve cap is a monitor. And the thing about Tire Minder is, is as long as you own That's those, every year you take your batteries out, send them into Tire Minder, and they will send you brand new batteries for the following year free of charge. Oh, for the system. 
So the, I mean, competition out there, their batteries, their, their monitors, uh, transmitters rather are sealed. So you actually have to buy all new transmitters where ours, you just take the cap off because it's, it's watertight, pull the battery out, put a new battery in, put it back together again, and put it on. Valterra has got some great products. So, but didn't they just buy TPMS this past year? Or last um, year? It's, it's been a few years now. It has been a few years. Okay. Yeah, it's been a few years. And as you can see, Tire Minder has gotten their Reader's Choice Award from Motorhome Magazine, Trail Life Magazine for the last oh. nine years. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, in, in, in Dante, where I just saw Dante's note, cheap money, he says, to have that. So, so I, I assume when you're buying a new motorhome, Dante, that you're going to uh, have Dan put a TPMS system on it for you. Eric said, yes, they did control entry into units. That's good. Um, Frank says, had a blowout on Cape Cod. Only by the mercy of God, a good, a good Samaritan did things straighten out. My auto club would not come to help me because we don't we don't do trailers. So they told me, was that on your new Airstream, Frank, or was that on something that you had uh, prior prior to that? I mean, it's that's dangerous stuff, and I, you know, it's uh, you, 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 it's hard to believe that somebody would make the investment in an even if it was a twenty thousand dollar entry level trailer. When you hear the horror stories for two hundred dollars, man, come on. You know, Bob, um, um, Frank brings up an excellent point. Um, there are certain auto clubs that are known all over the country. They have the same three letters. Mm -hmm. in, um, in New England, they don't cover RVs. But if you go to New York or New Jersey or other parts of the country, they do cover RVs. So it's important to um, have our viewers, our uh, RV owners, be aware of the fact that the the um, maintenance program that they might have with their car might not be transferable to their RV uh -huh. or it might not be transferable to their car or truck when they're towing an RV or towing a travel trailer. So I think that's very important. Hey John, um, did we neglect to welcome Mr. Kessler on time? Three no, minutes. I mentioned that, but you were too busy thinking of something else. I said, look, Kessler joins us. The three minutes past seven. Wow. Yep. Yep. I said Kessler. And um, oh, he says he's only here for a short bit. So I guess he figured he'd get his fix early in the program and then, you know, sneak out. He's one of those guys that sneaks out the back door of a seminar when it's not going really well. Yeah. Like he did. He, like he did that. You know what? And you know what he did even worse than that? When we were with him last March in um, Palm Springs at Winnebago, he would sit right up front during the beginning of the presentation, and as soon as they would dim the lights for the PowerPoint presentation, Kessler was back to the bar. Oh, geez, man. He Rick. Walked, out, walked right out, and I'd, saw him, I'd see him at the bar uh, <laughs> where I was. Wait, well, wait a minute. How did you see, how did you <laughs> see him at the bar, DePietro? I was going around. I was taking attendance to make sure that everybody who was there was doing the work that they were supposed to do. I, I see. I see. Mike, yeah. what, else, what else you got on the table in the hotel there for us? Oh, right. Well, just, uh, Ronnie just joined from Kissimmee, Kissimmee, Florida. Kissimmee. 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 Just got in from the show. All right, Ronnie, give us an update. Go ahead, Mike, what else you got on the table? Let's do the uh, Range Pro Cell Booster by Wine Garden. Everybody's been waiting for one out with a cell booster. Okay. <laughs> we got it. This is the packaging that you come in. So you can see you got the the uh, antenna, and then you've got the router that goes inside. Inside, in, inside the coach, or can it be in a, in a compartment? Um, in a compartment, watertight, inside the coach. This isn't is that, the antenna. Isn't that an oxymoron? Yeah, well, you know. Water, a watertight compartment. <laughs> <laughs> be nice. This is this is the antenna itself. This is uh, this is actually the roof mount. You have a roof mount, and we also make a ladder mount. So it's just a different bracket. This one actually has the holes on the bottom to go into the roof, and the other bracket mounts the same way, but you have the holes in the back so you can put the U bolts to mount it to the um, ladder mount. All right now, you know I'm not technical, Mike. Are those wireless or are those cables? Well, if, if Bob can bring up that one corner screen down there, 
Uh, okay, so yeah. Right to it. Um, but yeah, these are now available okay. in the dealerships. Keep in, um, keep in mind, folks, Mike and I didn't practice this. I just have to look at a bunch of pictures down below and guess at what he's doing. But, Mike, a, a quick question. Yeah, well, what, why would somebody drill holes in their roof if they could attach it to the ladder? Well, uh, somebody steals it off the ladder? No, no, because they're going to be up there with wrenches anyway trying to get the U-bolts off. Yeah. It's just a matter of preference. I mean, you know, some people want things mounted to the roof and satellites and cell boosters and, you know, all that other stuff. And some people will just ladder mount them. So, okay, let's go back to that. It's by, it's by preference. Let's go back to the question that we were starting to answer when Bob interrupted us. Right. Wireless or wired? Um, Bob, if you go to the one that shows the trailer <laughs> with the unit, that's the one I said on the bottom. I'm going to show we're making it's, him work. It's on its cable. You know, it's well, I, I don't get overtime for this. Yeah, that's there the one. Go. That's the one. <laughs> there you go. So if you look at that picture right there, um, it, it explains it all. So you mount the antenna onto the roof. You run the cable down into the coach, wherever you're going to mount the router system. But if you look, the antenna must be mounted at least 15 feet away from the indoor antenna. And it must be mounted three feet away from any RF products to avoid possible interference. So other RF products, satellites, EV antennas, radio antennas. And that's why you see a lot of the coaches that come in from the OEMs with the cell boosters already on them. They're at the very back of the camper. They're at the very rear of the camper. And the, so is the that, router is, is somewhere that, extreme. Taking the mystery, but is that taking the mystery out for them in terms of where to place it and avoid the uh, interference yeah basically i mean obviously if you only got a you know 10 foot camper you can keep it 15 feet away <laughs> yeah. like, why would somebody what why would somebody need that is that for people that are going far out or it, it's it you know and it's not even that john because you have to have cell tower you have to have service i mean if you're in a campground you have absolutely no service that says no service on your phone. You can't boost zero. You need a signal to boost. Okay. So it's it's basically to help people boost the cell signal if they know they're going to be in an area that they have a weak cell signal. It'll help amplify that. And this this will run with anybody's carrier service. It's not just AT and T, okay. T Mobile. It works with everybody's service that's out there. Money, Mike. Money. A quick. Um, quick. You're looking at four ninety nine suggested retail. Okay, quick point. Um, That's four hundred ninety nine. Yeah, four hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah. Tim Tim says work campers use them. Kathy Wheeler yep. says uh, AAA RV insurance. I was able to purchase it with my card, and her card shows plus RV, so it's AAA plus RV. Audrey, welcome back. Glad to have you tonight. She says our insurance coverage from Progressive. Covers the rig. Haven't had to use it. Knock on wood yet. Okay. okay. That was the, what, the question that I asked about. Um, she may not be able to knock on wood, so knock on your head a couple of times just to make sure you protect her. Okay, but we have a we have a celebrity guest with us tonight. We, oh man, I didn't I didn't see that. Well, Don, they, they just joined. Don Barone. Look at he's even got his own logo. Now he doesn't even have his picture. He has his own logo. That's Later, right, Don. Don Barone, the best writer at Bass, 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 what? The Bass Elite Series and ESPN. And uh, this guy is just. He is the best yeah. writer anywhere. Anywhere. He can nobody, nobody can say as much as Don Barone in as few words. In a few I, letters. I, a few letters. I am in <laughs> of this guy. Let me tell you. He is, he's one of our good friends from Connecticut. And, uh, so yeah, and, uh, and, yeah. And, to answer, and to answer Don's question, um, as far as I know, it will be five G compatible when five G comes around. And um, now here's a here's another question because you don't know Don like we know Don. If he's asking that question, he might mm -hmm. be about a cell booster for an RV. What does that tell you, DePietro? I think he might be uh, dipping his toe back into uh, the RV lifestyle. He may be. <laughs> yeah, something to pull behind that Toyota truck. He's had an RV before. He may be coming back to the fold. 
Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard of the Greyhawk. Next time you go to a camping show, and I don't care whether it's a small show or whether it's at a dealership or whatever, when you see a Greyhawk there, you think Don Barone because Bob Zagami, we have been to shows in Las Wait. Vegas. We've been to shows in, in uh, Louisville. We've been to shows in Evansville. And every time we see a Greyhawk, what do we think of? Right, Don Barone. We're not, we're not going to tell you the backstory. We're not nope. going to embarrass. We're not going to embarrass anybody. But it is our life's pleasure when we can go to an RV show, stand in front of a Greyhawk, and text him and say, "Don, this one's for you." And then we have to we have to make sure there are no children around when we get the comment back. When we get the comments back. All right, Riney says busy first day buying crowd. Good. Good, nice. Glad to hear that. Was he working the show, or was he just there as a? Oh, he's uh, on vacation. I, oh no, wait a minute. I think he does work the show as a contractor. So, Ryan, I, uh, yeah, he's got somebody down there, a dealer down there that he he works with uh, as a as a uh, he's a hired gun for the big Tampa show because he's such a good salesman. People want to get a hold of him. So, a lot of sales will do that in the industry. Next gizmo, please, huh? Somebody, people are, Barone saying, next gizmo, please. And Tim is seconding him, second hey, that emotion. Tim, what are you, his handler or something? You just, you know, want to move it? All right, Mike, we got to move on. Tim says we got to move on. Don, Don wants to move on. So, Riney is working the show. What else you got there, buddy? Hey, and just just a little message for Tim. Your your parts are on their way from Eric Sell. <laughs> <laughs> how's, that, how's, how's that for service? I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, him and Chris Dodd They're in the mail. Interrupts his national appearance on our being in New England to tell his customer that the parts are on the way. Don't you know where your bread is buttered? Jeez, I, I guess so. Hey, I'll tell you what. Before you jump in there, because we're so close to the half hour, let's, well do I'll, I'll let you get a, a, a quick drink of water if I can find my um, slide. My slide for... My halfway commercial. Well, Bob, while you're doing that, let me suggest to people that um, we want to thank them so much for taking time out of their busy day to watch the live show. But if you are if you are watching it live and there's somebody that you know that should be watching this show, then down below there's a share button. Uh, do that. And if you're watching it on Facebook, excuse me, on YouTube, then down the bottom right-hand corner there's a little button that says subscribe. So do that and uh, we'll be happy. And um, Bob, talk about Lee's. I, what you didn't do before. I just, Hi, I, I just lost it again. So uh, I know it pretty well. Talk, talk quickly. Ah, there it is. I found Mexico it. is brought to you by Lee yeah. Family Trailer Sales and Service in Wyndham, Maine, which is just outside of Portland, Maine, where they are one of New England's, if not the country's, fastest growing RV dealerships. And they have a complete line of virtually every type of RV available. As you can see, they've got the class B, they've got the class C, they've got the class A, they've got travel trailers, they've got fifth wheels, they've got, uh, um, you know, it looks like class A gas models there and um, a whole bunch of different um, manufacturers that they represent. Uh, but more importantly, they're nice people. And um, when you go up there, ask for Dan. Tell him John DePietro sent you. Don't mention Zagami. Just tell him John DePietro sent you. And um, they'll give you basically nothing. But well, I, I think if, if they mention Zagami, I think they get a bigger discount because yeah. I'm nationally famous and you're, you're kind of just New England. So Yeah, right. Oh, Brad is here. No, Brad, just, Brad Moore says, hey, guys. Hi, Mike. Uh, Welcome to the show, Brad. Uh, glad to have you. But yeah, sponsor uh, Lee's Family Trailer Sales. And nobody, I don't know too many people, too many dealerships in the country. Dan just bought it three years ago. And in three years, he's quadrupled the size of the business. So you, you got to know what you're doing. And you you must be treating your customers really right. Right up there in Wyndham, Maine, just 20 miles. Hey, Perry, where'd you go? He's still there. Huh? He's still there somewhere. But Bob, Audrey brings up a very good point, and I was going to bring it up, but I said, nah, that's a national story. It's not a, not a local story. Because of COVID and the capability to not have to be, you know, kids don't have a physical 
location to go to a school. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but also, Audrey, I think you'd agree with me on this. There are adults that don't have to be in an office that can work from a remote location. So, Mike, if you're still with us. No, he's not. He's not. I just went. I just scrolled the whole tray. So, yeah. something, you something know, happened. there are more and more people. In fact, um, but which comment are you talking about, John? Audrey know. Foley Egan, can you comment to this as an Internet booster for folks that are looking to remote? Oh. Oh, kids yep. from campers. Now, we have done several interviews with those people, those types of people that are saying, look it, while we only have, you know, no kids or while we only have a young kid or a couple young kids. Guess who just came back? <laughs> you dropped me, Bob. You dropped me you're, like a bad you're, habit. You're a jinx. Every time we bring you on, you, your system dies and you disappear for a while. No, that oh, was Mike. you. Dropped, you dropped me a bad Mike, habit. Go back to that internet booster. For families that are hitting the road with their kids, that the kids have to be in school for four or five hours a day. Is that the well, type of product that they would use to um, hey, Bob, school with? Bob, bring me up to the gateway unit that I sent you. Mike, it's, it's like I read your mind, Mr. Perry. Perfect. Good segue, John. Thanks. Well, I'll tell you, you know, we are good. We are smooth. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, WineGuard makes this gateway router. That router will upgrade our new WineGuard Air 360 Plus, which there are so many OEMs that are installing this on their roof. It is a TV antenna that is an omnidirectional TV antenna that gets 55 plus miles. It is oh, okay. has a radio antenna in it. It has two 4G LTE data antennas and a Wi-Fi antenna. So to answer your question, John. Um, oh, it's Audrey's, it's Audrey's question. John isn't that smart. So, so what I'm going to say is, is if you're in a campground and you have no service, that cell booster isn't going to do anything for the family. If you're in a campground and 90% of the campgrounds nowadays have the Wi-Fi, yeah, it's not that great, but that's why we make these routers and these antennas because it helps to amplify the campground's Wi-Fi. So the gateway router goes on to the bottom underneath through the roof. It's already pre-wired from the manufacturer. That's what it looks like right there. Um, it's a very simple install. Even Tim can do this install. Um, Ooh, oh, <laughs> You got, you've got four wires in there. You've got a red wire, a green wire, and a yellow wire. And over here on your left-hand side of that, picture, three. that hey, shows you exactly where to put those wires. And then the fourth wire is your 12-volt connection, which just plugs in. Mike, Everything has the fittings on them, and they just connect right in. Yeah, but, Mike, I'm colorblind. I'm colorblind. Well, that's all right. We make it in brown. Right, then, I have to, then I have to pay people like Tim to do it for me, right? Great, yeah, you go from left to right. <laughs> okay. Audrey, so, so yes, yeah, so so cool. this is what well, they would do yeah. their school, schooling. Mike, um, along those same lines, these products that you're talking about now are they good for only for only one device, or can can a husband and wife both on laptops hook into these simultaneously? You, you can use up to six different devices simultaneously. Yep. So if you have a couple laptops, a couple cell phones, uh, you got a printer because you're, you're a work camper. Um, yeah, you can connect up to six different devices on this. And you're outside having a Jack Daniels with your iPad? That that works? No, oh, well, I gave up Jack Daniels a while ago. <laughs> that, that, was, that was you. That uh, wasn't me. I'm so a quitter. I'm, I'm a quitter, Bob. I'm a quitter. Okay. All right. God bless you. All right. Audrey says, is it all compatible with all phone services or do you have to subscribe separately? That's a good well, question. Well, that's a real good question, Audrey, because it is compatible with um, Verizon, AT&T, and we just now got certified to add T-Mobile to the units. So those are the three phone companies out there that this is compatible with, as well as the Connect 2.0, which is our mothership for the internet. Um, it comes with a SIM card already installed in it, which is a WineGuard SIM card. 
um, which actually, you know, basically runs through AT&T, but kind of like DISH, it's a pay-as-you-go program. So there's no two-year contract like you get with other phone providers. You pick which plan you want, and you pay on a monthly basis, and there's no throttling. So if you buy 20 gigabytes at 10 or 15 gigabytes, you don't get throttled. It's you get slowed down, yeah. So... So, yeah, and like I tell people, you're not going to use as much Wi-Fi as you think you are. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, 4G data as you think you are because there's more free Wi-Fi out there now in the marketplace. So if you're going from here to Florida to the Tampa Super Show, most people in RVs are pulling into a Pilot, a Flying J, a TA truck stop, any one of those places, and there's free Wi-Fi out in the parking lot. Crack, for the crack, crack a barrel? And when you get hungry, you're going to pull into a Cracker Barrel, a Bob Evans, uh, a rest area that has yep. Wi-Fi. So you're going to use more Wi-Fi than you will 4G. The only time you're going to use 4G is when there is no Wi-Fi available. So okay. like, I tell, like I tell people, it already has a SIM card in it. Yep. Try, the, try the three gigabyte. If that's not enough, you need more, you can always buy more. All right, quick question. Don Barone said, can you make that slide bigger? So Don... I assume you want the slide that is on the screen. If not, let me know. And then he says, how much? Um, it had, I, think he's, I think he's getting serious. I, I thought he meant the slide in his, in his Greyhawk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think he's getting serious. That's what I thought he meant. <laughs> about coming, about that, coming back, you know. Make that slide bigger for him. No, I already did. It was just on screen bigger. Okay. It, how, um, much, how much is it going to cost him, Mike? It uh, has an MSRP of around two ninety nine, anywhere from two ninety nine to uh, three fifty. I've seen it for in some dealerships. Okay, let me, ask, let me ask a stupid question because I'm so illiterate when it comes to technology. Yeah, What's the reason why somebody wouldn't buy this over a cell booster because a cell booster that's all it does is cell boost. Um, but it's on a box. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go one further step on that one. So. If you're in a campground, you've got no service on your phone, you got a cell booster, again, you can't boost zero. You've got nothing. You're dead in the water. If you have Wi-Fi, you have a smartphone, if you go to your settings, and I'll do it on my phone and I'll show you. You go to your settings. Well, this guy's good, John. Okay. And you got, we gotta bring, you got we gotta bring him back more often. And you go to cellular and you tap on cellular. There's a thing on here called oh, give me my phone here, called Wi-Fi calling. Yep. And mine yep. is. So even if you're dead in the water with no cell service and you have a Wi Fi connection, you can still receive and transmit phone calls. Well, how, now, I, and I'm going to try to outthink Barone here, but that's very difficult because his brain is much larger than mine. If you have this service, because he's going to be interested in how fast he can get his stories back to the website and back to ESPN and back to Bassmasters and, and what have you. So, what about that? Well, I mean, if, if that's what he's looking to do, I would rather see him go and buy the Connect 2.0, which we have people out there that um, um, Majors RV Center did the install for, for the people on Rolling On. Right, right. Okay, so, I mean, there's people out there on the Rolling On that have the Connect 2.0 on their Lance Camper that's traveling around the country doing podcasts and doing interviews and all this stuff rolling on TV and they have absolutely no problem. Yep. yep. Hey, you know, if you look closely and you follow Audrey's line of questioning, she's a techie herself. And um, I think she is doing the research to set the um, wheels in motion for as soon as her husband uh, retires from that fire department to hit the road. And I think, and, and I think she's going to do it in a new diesel pusher. Walter Swenson, wait now, Walter, you are not at the show today, and you don't join us until thirty-eight minutes past our opening. So, what what was it that transpired in your life that kept you away from us for the first thirty-eight minutes of the show, Mister Swenson? You may not want to hear that when you saw some of his posts lately. I, you know, I know. We should probably stay away from that. Yes. All right. Barone says the perfect. manatees. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. You know, late the Connect 2.0 is, is a great product, and, and a lot of our dealers 
sometimes they sell out of them. They can't get them so quickly and, uh, to replenish the stock. And, and the thing, Bob, if, I mean, if you've got Don's information, you can give him my information. If he wants to call me, I'd be more than happy to talk to him about it. I, I would be happy to do that and make it available to him. He may or may not do that, but, uh, but he is one of the nicest people you'll meet in our business. And again, he does things with words. I, I tell you, I've been writing for 50 years. I, I feel I feel like a kid in the kindergarten class when I read yep. a, when, I, when I read one of Barone's blogs. And, and he can he can talk about topics that will, in reality, bring you to tears. Bring goodies in now. It's a joke in the community of, of, of his community. If you if you if you fire it up and you get a notification that Barone has published a new blog, before you read the blog, you go get the box of Kleenex. Audrey, if you have not read a Don Barone blog, I'll be happy to send you the uh, Don, tell us that website. Don, type in that website because type in your website, Don, so people can have even it. Even if people don't fish and they're not anglers. There, there are stories there. There are human interest stories that Barone is just. Oh, okay. Walt is right. I saw his post earlier today that he, Walt does his civic duties back here in uh, Massachusetts, even though he oh, is online. working. Right. He did an online Zoom with his public service commitments, but he is working in Florida. See, it's only taken me three weeks, Walter, to figure out that you're working and you're not on vacation. Walter, when are you coming back? Because we'll watch you. We'll, we'll, we'll. Watch you on I-95. Next, look at it. Barone's producing the show. He must think he's the <laughs> producer for next gizmo. gizmo. Next Gizmo, please. Barone, remember one thing. You're not at ESPN anymore. Right, right. And you're not producing our show. But, Mike, go ahead and give him something else to play around with. Well, Bobby, why don't we get into the uh, to the little good stuff there that I sent you on the uh, tra trailer sphere products. Uh -huh. I, I, I do have something on on that, but I'm not sure what it did. Um, so How about the Duraform? Oh, the du uh, the Duraform is the the trailer sphere. Nope, that's something different. Trailer sphere. I, I sent you the one on the new uh, the new garbage can. Oh Thanks. yeah, right here. Right yeah. here. Doing for Audrey. Audrey says, please do. I'd love to see it. There you go. And and also the pot holders and stuff. So yeah, we got pot holders for you, Audrey. Yeah. So, so Trailosphere makes uh, a product called Clever Cover, and that is a, a uh, electric tongue jack cover. And they're kind of expanding their line, and this is one of the things that they did. And my little prop here is, it's right here. It comes in this nice little plastic bag, and it's, and it's an expandable garbage can that is actually a dual-sided garbage can. So you can have one side for garbage and the other side for recycling. Oh, is that what that, that bar is in the middle there? So you can actually put bags on each side of that bar, clip them in. Those are the little clips there on the sides. The yeah. Little, the little no, this is really great for DePetro because he could put his empty <laughs> Chef Boy ID cans on one side yeah. and his paper plates on the other side. That's that's incredible. You're yeah. right. Yeah, so they have this this new side of it. It's called Gone Camping Collection, uh, Trailer Sphere. And it's uh, it's a two in one. It's the only collapsible trash bin in the market that offers a dual compartment. But you got to be careful here now, because, folks, if you don't put the two bags in there, it doesn't kind of serve its purpose. So if you just take one big trash bag and put it in uh, and you throw it on one side, they're all going into the same bag. So be aware of the fact that this is a two bag system. Right, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. So well, I guess. But is there a. Uh... Is there one bag that with two compartments, or do you have to use two bags? Yep, just just two separate bags. Wait, is, where is there one bag with two compartments? Where they, where they they don't make they can put people on the moon, but they don't make a plastic bag with two compartments. Oh, maybe, maybe some young engineer like Walter Swenson would come up with the the way to do two bags in one in this recyclable event. I mean. Yeah. Do you do you dare to you know disparage the engineering capabilities of Walter Swenson? I mean, we go from high tech to trash it, w without even. It's not nice to talk about Walter like that. God, you know these are these are our fans, Demetro. Yeah, Man. Walter doesn't care what we say about him as long as we say about him. 
Yeah, Bobby, if you go to the, the next slide there on it that has the uh, the different pitchers. So it holds 30 gallon trash bags. <clears throat> it's got a spring steel coil system. It's got an extra handle at the bottom. It has, you know, it's for indoors or outdoors. It has lid storage. It's got a waterproof zipper so you can actually close it off and zip it up and it's not going to leak. It's got stake loops at the bottom of it so you can stake it down to the ground so it doesn't move. I, it's, it's uh, that's probably, probably my bad, Michael. Uh, Mike, I'm not sure that I actually downloaded. Okay, that's it, fine. Part of it, yeah. But that's but that's what it'll do. Um, if you're looking at the trash bag, you're looking around thirty nine ninety five. That's yeah. it. Th that's all. That's it. Yeah, and for an extra ten bucks, you get a button on it that would drives itself right over to the dumpster, empties itself, and comes back. There you go. That's amazing. Now, yeah. when you're so when you've got it next to your camper and you're putting all your trash out at night, what do you do about the raccoons and, and what have you? Is there a cover on this thing or what? Well, that's, what that's what I was saying. It has a cover that it, you just, it zips, zips right on. Oh, zips across. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a waterproof zipper, too. So. Yeah. But it's next. the next product we have is a 45, so that takes care of the raccoons. That's right. <laughs> now, so if... So if you're cooking, Mike, you know we got to give Audrey a couple of more toys. Yep. Not that yep. she does the cooking, but uh, these are pretty interesting. Yep. She makes I drinks. Know. We know that. Yeah, and I got both of these. I got both of these right here. So you've got a pot holder. You and my big paws can get in this thing. Mm -hmm. What's it say, Mike? And uh, just what it says there in the picture. It says, uh, "We travel not to escape life, but for life to not escape us." That's a good one. So what is, what is so what is one camping and who do they have other products that you provide to the dealers, Mike? As far as this company? Yeah. Well, these are some of the new products they brought out this year. Is okay. the trash trash bag, the pot holders, and also the oven mitt. Okay, so when our fans go into their dealers, they're gonna find these hung up on the hooks in the in the parts and accessory store, right? Yes, they will. And if if they don't see them. Tell them, say, hey, look, I'm looking for the trailer sphere pot holders and mitts. Get them in. Yep. And uh, they've got some other stuff for pot, too, but that's uh, actually, it, it kind of looks like Marijahuna, doesn't it? Well, I mean, I mean it, 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 maybe. So Audrey says pudding shots. Um, Audrey, yeah. can you enlighten us older guys? I know you're of a younger crowd, but. Pudding shots the best. How is a pudding shot? Oh, wait a minute. Perry knows what a pudding shot is. Oh, uh, pudding shots, jello shots, we're all over that. Oh. <laughs> it's not considered drinking. Right. And just so just so Audrey knows, um, these are around for the set of two is $19.99. Hey, Jay Gula, I appreciate your comment. Can you put that information back up on your dealer in Maine who is sponsoring our programs? I will do that and let it sit up there for just a little while. while Jay, where are you, Jay? Oh, yeah, where, where are you, Jay? Yeah. Yeah. A new viewer, Jay. Where are you from? Tell us where you're from, Jay. Pudding shots, Audrey. Yep. Okay. Trailer sphere. Okay. There's Walters. There he goes. Okay. He's back in action. He's forgotten yeah. the, the town mm -hmm. civic duties and he's back into his RV life. He, he's our associate producer. He's our, yeah. remote, our remote guy. Yeah. But now we got, now we got Barone on the payroll and he's telling us when to switch slides and, you know, when to move to the next gizmo. Looks like a remote control. Yeah. Damn. Exactly. He thinks it's right, a Bob, slide show. You got, the, uh, you got the Duraform slides? Uh, I thought I did. That's the one that has the placemats and the signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Storage. Yeah. Here we go. Got them. Yeah. Nope, that's just me, you, and him. There you go. Yeah. Now, that's the signs, right? That's the sign one. I, I've got one for the placemats, but uh, oh, tell, that's, tell that's, us about that's... these. They're quite, quite creative. Yep, these are all the new decorative signs that uh, that Duraform has made. And again, these are made in the USA. Um, you got all the different pictures and all the different prints with all the different sayings. Um, the signs themselves are like $20.99 a piece. And they also make the placemats, which match everything that's right here as well. Let me, let me and, pull that for you. Yeah, and for um, sets of placemats, it's the same price. It's $20.99. Yep. 
These are new. Uh, she, 20, only $20.99. Yep. And, and made in America. Made in America. Love to hear that. Uh, Jay Gould says, Waltham Mass, seasonal camper at Bourne Scenic Park. We've done videos down at uh, Bourne Scenic Park. Jay, uh, uh, is this your first time on the show? Um, I don't recognize the name, but we certainly appreciate you joining in tonight. Uh, Audrey says, you guys need a production manager. No, we don't. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If she is offering her production <laughs> manager, let's take them. Wait, Audrey, we need a production manager. Jay says you have to do the Dr. McGill. Scotch pudding. Frozen. Man, he's he's just taking that drinking stuff up another notch, Mike. Uh, I'll tell you what. He goes with that. I'm going to have to get on insulin with my diabetes on that one. <laughs> Dr. McGillicuddy Butterscotch. Really? Yeah. What, do you, what do you do with that? We're, we're getting close to running out of time, and I don't want to. I don't wanna, I know you had this one in the mix, too. Let's go back on the Duraform one. There's one more oh, thing to Bob, which, what? Is, no. which is the totes. The totes. You have no mercy on me. Wait a minute. Aud Audrey's going to want these totes. She's what? She's going to want these totes. The totes? Yeah, the totes. That? Nope. Those, <laughs> Those are signs, Bob. That's not a tote, Bob. You're Those are signs. Those are signs. Okay. All right. He's, he's, he's colorblind. He's, he's still on the side. Color, colorblind and dumb. It, but she said totes. These, these, are, these are signs. What? This is, the one I'm, this is the ones I'm looking for, Bob. This is what the picture looks like. Is it, is it signs or placemats? Nope. These are totes. Ultimate storage totes tubs. I don't think I did those, Mike. Oh boy! Uh, I Audrey, Audrey, look, look at this, Audrey. I did flunked. I no, I didn't do. I know I didn't do those. I flunked production one hundred and one. Yeah. Well, I guess we need a new production manager. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. All right. Let me let me blow that. No, put it back. <laughs> I, I got the production manager. <laughs> okay. no. So what the hell? What do they do? So these are totes that actually go underneath the dinette. They're made to fit underneath the dinette. Um, as you can see, you can you can customize them, you can section them, you can just use them as one hole. And the top of the totes has a happy camper, and it also shows a Class C with a teepee. Those hey, Mike, are the, those are the lids of the totes. I don't want to be a spoiler, Mike, but I don't think you sent those to me. Hey. But, uh, Audrey says she's dying laughing. Barone says, oh, yeah. Uh, you said, this is why they need a production manager. Ed Leturco. Ed Leturco. Great to have you back, Ed. Late. Hey, Bob, Bob, let's give our audience. This is a good. This audience is in a good mood. First of all, show them the other dog, too. What, my dogs? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't realize that he had uh, kind of jumped up there. and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, they're just resting comfortably. They're, they're just sitting there trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Our audience is in a good mood tonight. Let's and, and even if this screws up, they'll be in a good mood. John, what are you putting on your hands, John? Huh? What are you putting on your hands? It's um, stuff from KOA. It's that um, is it sanitizer. And sanitizer. But John, they can't no stand himself. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody else up in your office with. I was going to say, what are you putting sanitizer on your hands for? Well, next, thing, next thing you know, he'll put on a mask, but there's nobody upstairs with him. Well, if he puts on a mask and he's by himself, he did something. <laughs> yeah. Bob, Bob, tell the audience that we spared no expense to get a professional jingle done to open our show. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, see, let's see what we have. That's the dog. Cool. Don Barone, they do a better job than us, I'll tell you that. And yep. Once you see this, you'll know what I mean. Crush. Cross your fingers, everybody. Welcome, Welcome to, RV to RV in New, in England, New England, the nation's, the nation's only, only forum, forum that puts that you, puts you on, stage on stage with some with of the some biggest, of the biggest names, names in the RV, in the RV industry. industry. This program, this program is, brought is brought to you by Lee's, Lee's Family, Family, Family Trailer, Trailer Sales, Sales and Service, and Service one, of one of America's fastest, fastest growing RV, RV dealerships. dealerships. And now and your now host, your John DePietro and Bob Zagami. Didn't see a thing. Is that... Is that cool or what? Can you can you see anything, Bob? <laughs> can you see that one, Perry? All right. Now that we've done that, and I'm 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 so this is check this out. 
And it ain't gonna go. Edition of Being a Wiggly Wiggly was brought to you by Reed's Family Trailer Sales and Service. One of America's fastest growing RV dealerships and was a presentation of the New England RV Dealers Association. Thanks for watching and be sure to like us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Boy, we we are rocking tonight. No, we weren't rocking. We were in double. We were double reverb. Look at Barone. Reverb is back. Reverb is back. Wow, you are double. No, no, I, now, I'm not going to press my luck to Barone. We, we, we're still kind of working out this video. Stuff. Too many voices. No, it was one voice. It's just that we have no idea how to do it properly. Right. Hey, Dante, that was, no, we didn't get two voices then. They, they, yes, you did. Right? You both, did? Okay. We're double. All right. Dante, that was the guy, uh, after we had our cup of coffee the other day, this was my next appointment, uh, Todd LaSalle, who does video work up in Maine and does a lot of Dan's uh, video productions for his product reviews and everything. Uh, Dan had him do these, so we are delighted, and thank you, Dan, very much, and uh, we certainly appreciate it. What's that? Ocean Breeze, Ocean Breeze in Myrtle Beach? Ocean Lakes. Ocean Lakes. I'm sorry. Yeah, Ocean Lakes. Are you going? Are you going to Myrtle? Did you did you skip last year or are you skipping this year? Audrey Foley. I, I and are you? I don't, you're going I don't think she went anywhere. Huh? I don't think she went anywhere this uh, around New England. Maybe. No, I think she's planning on going. No, she just posted something. It's twelve weeks till Myrtle and ten weeks to Normandy Farms. Yeah, but that, that's for next year. For this year, yeah, for this summer, yeah. Frank's right. Reverb, yes. A pirate land. Okay, she's going to hey, pirate Tim, land. Tim's, Tim's got Audrey figured out. He says, Audrey's, look at that. Check check this out. Tim, I tell you, he's smart. He may have two of the smartest comments of the night between Perry cleaning herself up and Audrey looking for a job. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah. But he doesn't have to drive on 128 anymore. That's right. That, that's right. So we do did we leave anything out that I may have missed photographically or what else <laughs> that uh, I, think, I think we're good, Bob. I think we're good. We're good. That, that's a, a quite a collection of so as, I know you've been uh, traveling this week. You're out visiting dealers. So give me the mood for the dealers and uh, what are they saying to you about uh, you know coming into the winter season? There's no shows, so uh Almost all the shows we canceled our Boston show this week, but almost all of them have been canceled. Uh, give us a, a take on what kind of communications you're having with our nerd to dealers. Well, I mean, I mean, basically, you know, dealers out there are hoping it, this year is going to be just as good as last year was. I mean, last year was a kill year for every dealer out there. Um, problem is, is getting units to sell from the manufacturers. Um, the problem that we had on our end last year was getting product um, out to distributors to get to the dealerships because work, you know, workforce is out there. Um, we just did the Folin show. We did a virtual show. Folin's is a distributor up here in the Northeast. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I mean, one of our, vendors came on and which he uh he works for Nor norco which is not norco it's norco norco is uh part of the bal system and they make the chassis and the slide out rooms for oems mm -hmm. and because of the workforce um out there in elkhart uh being as low as it is they had to pull people off of the aftermarket products like BAL makes the X shocks, uh, the stabilizer, crank out. the stabilizer, too, right? And the stabilizers and all that stuff. And yeah. they had to pull line workers off of those products to put them on the chassis and the slide out room just to get product out to OEMs. OEMs being the original, the manufacturer, you know. If, if Zoom is not familiar with that term, but the original equipment manufacturers, well, that's that's the Tippins and the Keystones and the Grand Designs and the Winnebago's and everybody who's waiting for those products so they yep. can finish, they can finish the motorhome or the trailer and get it to the consumer. Yep. So you know, so that side of the aftermarket for for Norco, I mean, is you know, it's it's slow in process, which is going to be slow in process of getting onto the dealer shelves as well. And yep. you know, all they can do is apologize. 
Mark Lebrecht shows up with one minute to go in the show. And the first thing is to said is that Mike Perry is getting a gray beard. Thanks, Mark. Love you too, brother. I'm glad you're enjoying retirement. <laughs> so, Mark, so Mark joins us at 59 minutes after the hour. And, and puts down Mike Perry. Well, yeah. He, and he puts down Mark, Kevin, Mark, yeah, Mark Kevin. and I go way back. Mark yeah. and I go way back. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin says the workforce is strained in Elkhart County, unfortunately. But Kevin... Would you, when you get off the show, would you give Mark Lebrecht a call and tell him that we start at 7 p.m. Eastern time? He must have just finished happy hour down in Florida. Which is Eastern time. And and Tim's, Tim's got, got a point here. Tim says dealers do not need shows. Many units sold out three months in advance. Booming will miss the shows. Booming, we will miss the shows. We will, and that's going to be a, a topic of many discussions Uh most of all of the shows in New England certainly have been closed and canceled. And like I said, we canceled our Boston show this week, and it may work that way. Mark LeBrecht, love you. And he's the at the tea bar. <laughs> he's hey, at Mark says the tea bar. And ladies and gentlemen, we can't give you all the details now because we're still working on them. But for those of you that may be thinking of, of buying a campground, Stay tuned to this channel because we're going to give you some information where you can go to learn about everything you need to know about buying a campground or building a campground. Building a campground or selling a campground. Either way. We got, we, got, we got some stuff on the program for April for you that you are not going to believe because we don't have the show in April. We canceled it from January. Changed it. From January to April, but we've got some stuff planned that you they're going to be talking about it from one end of the country to the other. Walter Burns, way to go, Z and John. Great show tonight. Great new accessories. Back at Tampa next couple of days. Thanks, Lee's trailer too. So, Walter, give us give us you know send me a daily update on what you're doing, Michael. As usual, you are fantastic. We could probably go three hours with you. Banter. So we would have done more tonight if it wasn't for Barone trying to produce the show and Tim trying to, you know, get a few extra punches in there. But uh, and Audrey dominating the questions. Right, right. But we'll, you know, we'll take care of that. Good night, Tim. Uh, appreciate you jumping in there. Um, Tim, by the way, was number four in tech RV dealer in the country, not in Irving, Massachusetts, not in Massachusetts. Not on the Mohawk Trail, not in New England. Mike, can you believe that? The guy who's number four in the country on Intech RVs. I know. We, we were talking uh, last week about it. <laughs> and we're already three minutes over. We he's are. Only, he's only this big. <laughs> right. He's, he's, he's <laughs> out there sitting up there on Route 2, minding all those business and cashing the checks. All right, look at We're going to see everybody down the road. We'll see you next thir next Wednesday. I'm not sure who we got on next Wednesday. But uh, appreciate you joining in tonight. Mike, thanks as always. You're a great guest. Any, any words of wisdom for our fans before you leave? Just uh, everybody be safe out there. Stay healthy. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys all again. Probably at dealerships. As always. And I know Angela is hiding over there on your phone. And Angela, we appreciate you joining us tonight, too. DePietro, you get the last word. Yes, I just want to tell everybody to uh, wish us well in our Powerball tonight. Oh, you got, oh, that was tonight? That's ah. coming up tonight at, I think, 11 o'clock. So I didn't, I didn't buy anything. So I'll, I'll leave it all to you, DePietro, because I didn't buy anything. Exactly. And, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't see me here next week, you won't see him. You'll know. <laughs> I'll tell you what. And if, and if he wins it, you won't see me either. <laughs> All right. See you down the road. Mike, thanks very much. I appreciate it. The show went off fine after all. It ended my day on an outstanding note. Special thanks to Lee's Family Trailer Sales and Win the Main. Lee's Family Trailer.com, one of America's fastest growing RV dealerships. Uh, good night, everybody.